do we have anything here with these track logos? Did you did you take a look see at these? Yeah, what are we supposed to be looking at? So I was just curious if there was like if you had to could you pick a top three out of these? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark mine. You guys mark yours. All right, I'm gonna mark it with a go. pen. Yep. I'm gonna see. Do we have to mark them in order as one, two, three? No, just just look. Do a Mount Rushmore. Do four. Just do just four. Identify okay. four that you would do. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't think there's really any of. I wouldn't call any of them bad. I I think they're all pretty decent. But Thunder Roads is a little lacking. That yeah. was good. Boy, oh, so hold on. We should have also did your worst one. You want to do the worst one? You do. You pick your Mount Rushmore. So then that track would actually. Hit. So we want to eliminate one track's interest in our podcast right off the rip. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, it would well, actually no, be maybe four. it would. Maybe it would They'll entice get, them to call critical and say, well, hey, can you help not me? even just somebody freshen <laughs> this up for me. Right. Uh. All right. So who wants to go first? Do, well, well, does I, I everybody have, have their four? I don't. Okay, hold on. I mean, I got two that's a, to me are no brainers. Me too. Twos are a no brainer. Rob, you're locked in? I mean, I have four that I think look pretty good. All right, I'm just going to go with these. I mean, I, 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 I can give some honorable mentions if, we're, if time allows. Yep. Mm. All right. Remy, why don't you go first? Ladies. Wow. Okay. She says <laughs> <laughs> Rems, let's not put that right up. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> You're on camera. Here we go. Okay. So, so no, 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 no. Remy. You, you can't put the yeah. Oh, sorry. I yeah. was so I think one of my favorites is um the Devil's Bowl. Mm-hmm. But I also have like Dirt Track, by the way, in Vermont. Go I just ahead. think it's really cool. Okay. With the devil's head. Gotcha. Um Riverside Speedway. Yep. I like the stay in the background. And everything. New Hampshire Might be track. a little too much, but I still like it. Okay. Bear Ridge Speedway. Oh, all right. You like these northern what tracks. What the f***? Another, <laughs> so another Vermont dirt track. And then Monadnock. Okay. That's a good pick right there. I can tell you that I have not picked any of the ones that Remy did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how is that? How, this, is, this is great. Yeah. Well, now, this, is like, this is like when you, when you design a t-shirt. This person thinks it's great. Yep. This person's like, what in the hell is that? <laughs> right? All right, Rob, you're up next. So uh, I have four pretty different picks. Actually, two of them are kind of similar, but the reasons I picked them are very different. Okay. I started with Thompson. I think that logo looks very clean and modern, would translate well to like a TV package or something, you know? Yep. You can do some animations with it. It looked pretty nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked Monadnock because it has a very bold design. I think it contrasts well with how gritty that track is. I love your explanations, yeah. too. They're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I picked Star. Star Speedway. Another bold design. I like the. I wish there wasn't a gradient on the star, to be honest. I think they could flatten that out a little bit, but I still like it overall. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oxford Plains it just has a really classic-looking logo. It looks straight up 2003, and I love it for that reason. Wow. Okay. Mm. All right. Diego, you want to go next? <sighs> yeah, I'd love to. I don't know if I can explain them as well That's as okay. Fro did. I yeah. didn't mean to set the bar so high. Yeah. No, it was great. I mean, your explanations were awesome, but I have to agree with you. Thompson Speedway is on my radar. Yes. Yeah. Super, super clean logo, super professional looking. Same again with Monadnock. It's just really, really cool. It's very legible, and uh, it's it is gritty. It has a gritty look yep. to it. Um, my next one, I don't know if Sid's got this on there, but I like the White Mountain Motorsports Park logo. Hmm. I mm -hmm. uh, I like the script. I like the you know I like that whole font and uh, and it, and, it, and the mountains uh, behind it represent it pretty good. So see, you got me explaining every logo right. here. <laughs> the last one, I'm not sure, is because I've done a lot of shirts for these guys through the races, uh, honoring racers, is uh, the Claremont Motorsports Park logo, I think, is is, is super modern looking. Whoever designed it has a, a good eye for colors, and uh, and I love the, 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 the fonts that were selected for it. Nice. Those are my four. All right. Very totally nice. different than Remy's. <laughs> yeah. So I am 
I agree with Thompson. Uh, something classic about it, and it does like. I don't know what about it, but like you said, it's modern looking. I dig it. Yep. Um, this is I'm no one else picked this one, but I absolutely love Seekonk's logo. It has this retro feel to it, and as a historian, I just um, I it think, looks like it was designed in 1966, and that's what I yeah, love about it. Looks it. 50s, it does, yeah, it that's what does I love look about that. it. Um, just really like that. It's a huge upgrade, in my opinion, to a, to their previous logo as well. Um, I also love the Star Speedway logo. I think it looks really good. I don't know if you ever seen like the their their uh, roadside sign at their track, but it just kind of pops. Mm. The star actually pops a little better on the roadside sign than it does in this printout. And I do have to just give an honorable mention that if the Wisconsin Speedway didn't have the uh, emoji there, I think I would like it. But the emoji <laughs> to me makes it look kind of stupid. But um, who was your four again? So Cl- Claremont was my fourth one. Claremont's yeah. a nice logo. Yeah. Same. I like the colors. I like the color scheme. The red and the, as you know, with my Sid's view stuff, that red, uh, yellow kind of um, color palette I like. Um, so mine would be Claremont, Thompson, Seekonk, and Star. Good choices. Yeah. I, I, can, I, you know what I can tell who would be a maybe the nicest logo on here, if they got rid of the cars, would be Speedway ninety five. Speedway ninety five. I didn't pick it because of the the, 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 the car images. Just the car images. Yeah. The, 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 the font Speedway with the ninety five logo. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's a killer, killer logo. The cars on the top kill it for me. You know, Spud Speedway is just because of what little I know about that track, but because it's this oddball track way up in northern Maine that is. You want to talk about a backyard track, like yeah. You know, it's so way the hell out there. Oh yeah, that that logo just kind of to me fits what I do know about that track. Like it's kind of goofy. What is that? What, what is that little thing? Uh, it looks like it's like a little uh, somebody's in a little go kart. Yeah, or like, a, is it a? Are you sure it's not like a potato car? Yeah, I thought oh, it was no, a that's right. Yeah, like a potato spud. Yeah, yeah, right. that's it. Right. Yeah, into a race car. Yeah. <laughs> So it's kind of goofy. Like I kind of dig that. Nobody yeah. picked New Hampshire. It's got a classic look. Uh, I hate that. I yeah. hate that logo. Yeah. I just that, can't pick it because that logo is shared by other tracks. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. not original at all. Yeah. yeah. Which I get. You know the the SMI branding, but still, you know what I mean. I actually like the Legion Speedway logo. I kind of. It's not bad. Yeah. And least. It's, it's, yeah, but it looks like. Uh, what's his name? The the motorcycle guy. The motorcycle guy. The guy that jumps cars and. Sh- what, like Evil Knievel? It's like an Evil Knievel looking logo. <laughs> <laughs> no? Right. Well, I feel now like that you e- say that. I feel yeah. like Evil Knievel should be on the top of the circle with a motorcycle. Now that you say that. I do kind of, Bear Ridge Speedway, Remy, I do kind of like that one. I do. It's a little too busy for me, but I, it's not bad. I thought the Riverside logo is just overwhelming. Yeah, like I don't like the color scheme. I don't know. I feel what is like that? Is that the autism uh, thing in the background? Is that what that represents in that logo? That's what I was thinking. Right? I don't know. What are all the colors representing? Or the or the counties in the state? Uh, That's what it looks like, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm not sure what it the is. The counties in New Hampshire or something. But it's I an, just ev- like it's an adventure state. park. What's an adv- well, I, Do you know anything about that place? No. Yeah, Riverside it got is... got shut down, right? Adventure Park? Oh, did it? Oh, I, no, 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 I have no. no idea. No, no, no. Riverside Speedway has been Riverside Speedway. Then it was... Um, I want to say maybe it was t- no, that was Claremont was twin twin. It's changed names and now it's back to Riverside. Okay, and uh, I believe it's an asphalt track. I think the only dirt tracks are Legion, Bear Ridge, Devil's Bowl, and I think that's it. Oh, mm. you know what? There is a I missed a track. There's a track in Maine called Unity Raceway, which is a dirt track. I did forget that one. I don't know what their logo is. Mm. For as great as Stafford is at a lot of things, I think their logo is just totally bland. Like it is, I mean, it's well, not it's, terrible. It's, got, but it's it's the retro thing again. Yeah. Right? I mean, isn't that what it is? That, is I mean, it retro, though? I don't know. I feel like it's been the same logo for as long as I've known. It has been the I, same logo. Well, actually, it was the only thing they changed. It used to be all caps. Stafford Speedway was all caps. And then they changed it to lower. I don't know if I would even call that retro. It looks like it was designed in like the late 90s, low key. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Like it looks yeah. like kind of like it came out of MS Word a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. Well, yeah. that's the thing, right? Like, so you said like Thunder Road is kind of bland, but to me, like that's been Thunder Road's logo forever. Yeah, so, I, the, maybe, so it's kind of iconic. I'm gonna take that back. 
Because it is an iconic logo. The, the Thunder Road? Yes. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows that. I, I feel like everybody knows that logo that knows short track racing. Yeah. No, to be, but somehow it's managed to not be outdated, which I feel Stafford's is kind of becoming a little outdated. Yeah. Speedball logo is probably the worst, in my opinion. Mm hmm. What is it supposed to be? Sales. It's supposed to be sales. But like, sales. It's, not, it's not boat racing. Well, that's the thing. Is like I, I said to him, he's like, well, we're down on the coastline, blah, blah, blah. I said, listen, dude, I give you points for like embracing that we're on the coastline, but the speedboat really has no connection to the sailing community that's a few miles away. Like, it's just. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, you're not. Zero interest from them people. Yeah. It's like you. Look, They're pissed because it's loud. Right, right. <laughs> we don't like those people. They're Foster. walking around in their boat shoes and piss like you hear them <laughs> rednecks over there with that shit. Like and if they put a big fat clip art tire right there instead of the sails, I, I wouldn't know. even be complaining. It yeah. would look the, pretty much the I same. I mean, he all he did was he your brother had it with flags and he just replaced the flags that were there with yeah, and it was a it had an orange and and I love that too because the. Sid's View logo, which was synonymous with the speed, Sid's View synonymous with the speedball. So our color schemes were the same. Oh yeah. And then he made this blue and gray thing. Yeah. And baby blue of all things. Um. Is the Hudson Speedway's logo the worst though? There is a lot of fonts on there. Yeah. You get, you, yeah. There's too many different fonts. Right? And like the line weight, like look at the the line weight of the checkered pattern with the car. Yeah. Nothing goes. If it's, you, like, it's like the car was just placed on top of it. Let's just yeah. put the car right yeah. here. If you had to pick the worst one, what would you pick? Controversial. Here it comes. Thunder Road. Oh, you don't like Thunder Road, huh? Nope. Okay. I think it's severely underdesigned, and on top of that, the word nation is not capitalized. Nation? That shouldn't... No. Nation's not a proper noun. Yeah, but it's the start of the sentence. I don't know if a tagline is a sentence, but all right. I'll respect your opinion, even though it's terrible. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, I knew it was controversial. <laughs> no, that's good. I'm not going to lie. The, speak your mind. It's all good. I think Hudson's is probably yeah, the worst. Mine's, mine's either Hudson or Riverside. I know, Remy. I'm sorry. I don't really like Riverside's either. Mine's either Hudson or the. Well, if, if if they got rid of the. If they got rid of like half of it, if they got rid of yeah. the, the county map and the camper and the. SUV yeah. below yes, it. Yes, it would be a great It'd logo. Be, right. They, the font, they, they tried too hard. The font choices, the little banner on the bottom's great. Even if they got rid of everything besides Riverside Speedway, it would look pretty good. It yeah. would. It really would. It really would. Yeah, I somebody think they, just they had over, a good idea and they tried too hard. Somebody mm -hmm. overkilled that design. Yep. yep. I probably have done that once or twice in my life. Oh, my God, yeah. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hiya. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> <let's play>. Hiya! <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> All right. That was a fun exercise. Very good. I agree.